Uh, I'm here today doing a series of talks, just trying to get the public more aware of the true history behind uh, the Gweagal Shield. This shield means a lot to me and my people. It tells me and my people who we are and where we come from. Our culture is the oldest surviving culture in the world, over 50,000 years old. And soon new research will make it so much more than 50,000 years old, over 100,000 years old. My people are from Kamei, Botany Bay, and we were the first people to come in contact with the British when they arrived on our shores. Now, in 1770, before Captain Cook set foot on our land, he fired muskets at my people, at my ancestors, and he shot one of my ancestors. Now, my ancestor was holding the Gweagal Shield, what's in the British Museum, and there is a musket hole that proves what happened on that first encounter with the British people. Captain Cook and Joseph Banks, they walked up the beach, they picked up the shield, and they went around to all my ancestors' huts, and they took every single artifact they could find, left them with nothing, no spears to hunt with, for food, nothing. Those artefacts were taken by musket fire and by bloodshed, and they brought them back to England where they got distributed around private collections and museums. And we call on the British Museum to think about Indigenous Australia and give back any artefacts you have that were wrongfully taken. And these artefacts mean so much to us you know, it can teach the young again. Teach them how to make tools. Teach them their language. You know, give them some pride in who they are. Once we have them back, our people can be so proud of who we are and where we come from. We've got their exhibitions being sponsored by one of the biggest polluters in the world. Me and my people, we say no to BP sponsorship of our artefacts and the exhibitions that they sponsor with our artefacts in them. No, the people, the public, we can put an end to BP sponsorship and we could put an end to museums hoarding indigenous artefacts. Thank you all. If you feel there's anything you want to say to the British Museum after what you've just heard, then please um, write it on a feedback form. You can give it back to us or you can pop it in the feedback box uh, the museum has on its reception desk. Thank you all so much for listening. Cheers.